Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. So what if you are taking the board exam, let's just say in less than a month, a month, less than a month, that's it. But you have now decided, I kind of need help. You know, you, you might be thinking, I need tutoring help. What are some notes that I can just read through everything so that I pass the exam? So there are certain things that you should be doing and things that you should not be doing. Let's just say if you have 30 days to pass the board exam. So what you should not be doing is do not just spend eight hours studying every day, just reading your textbook, notes, back and forth, whatever. You need a plan. In those 30 days, you need a plan. Hopefully at this point you have felt like you have studied a lot. So now it's time to take mock exams to truly see if you know what you're talking about. So do not just study notes, study textbooks, study chapters. Do not do that. Take the mock exams first on those topics. So let's say take a mock exam on oral pathology. Take the whole thing. And then how did you do on that mock exam? Did you get a 40%? that's bad that's not good that tells you you have to go back and read your oral pathology chapter read your notes in your binder whatever on just oral pathology spend three hours doing that in the morning three hours in the evening time oral pathology and then that's it and then take that mock exam again to really see did you learn anything let's say you do worse than you did the first time you need help, you guys. Contact me and I can help you decide which mock exams to take. And maybe you do need a course to just kind of help you get more organized. I, I, I actually do have a 30-day um, board exam express course where I teach you guys everything you have to know in that 30 days. I have mock exams on every single topic and PowerPoints to go with those mock exams plus a lecture where I teach you in 45 minutes that topic, that's it, all you need to know, done. So if you need help, if you're trying to take mock exams, read your notes, but you don't feel like you're getting any better, you need help, please contact me. I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom if you would like to have a look. Everything's organized there for you. Okay, so back again. So what should you not be doing? is you know getting nervous i know it's easier said than done i know you're going to get nervous but if you're so nervous that you're not actually doing anything about it if you're just thinking oh my god i don't know what to study i have 30 days that's it i'm just not going to study at all don't do that still study something if you're not part of my my course yet just take a chapter in your textbook read one chapter one topic a day do highlights, whatever you have to do to, you know, keep studying, keep doing something. But take those mock exams first so you know where you stand and what you need to study further. So rule number one, take mock exams. If you don't know which mock exams to take, then you might need my help. Let me know. Number two is study based on those mock exams. So it's so important, you guys, take the mock exams first so you know what you have to study and then study based on what you have to study. If you take a mock exam on, say, oral pathology and you get 100%, or if you do an amazing job, don't just not study oral pathology. Still read through it, but maybe that will be the last week, not now. You want to focus on what you don't know because you don't have a lot of time left. How will you know what you don't know? Take mock exams and then read based on what you don't know, okay? So I hope that helps. Let me know if you guys need any help because time is precious. You don't want to not pass the board exam, right? So let me know if you need anything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.